I absolutely want to KMS myself whenever I hear the term content creator. Dude, you're a content creator. Hey, you, we love working with content creators like you. It's the most debased Orwellian term ever. It's not just like an arbitrary hatred. I know some people just arbitrarily hate words. Like there's some people out there who really hate the word moist or something like that. But um, yeah, I hate the term content creator and, and, and for a reason, okay? So here's the deal. First off, it is totally contentless. Like when you think about what it means, it doesn't even mean, you could use it to mean like someone who makes videos or, or has an Instagram or something like that. And the fact of the matter is the incentives on basically every social media site nowadays is not actually to produce uh, content with an actual goal. It's just to produce content, just to get people to continue to view ads. And I know a lot of people, including myself, you know, I started YouTube um, with, I guess, a target oriented channel or I mean, not towards one target, but when I put up videos, they had like goals, you know, like I put out a bunch of tutorials uh, on LaTeX or Vim or, or things that I was doing or things that I was uh, working on, like projects, academic projects I was working on, all of them sort of informative based. And even as I've started to grant, uh, you know, I do more lifestyle videos nowadays, but all of them have a point. Like I'm not just necessarily flexing my life or something like that. Uh, you know, I, I guess I'm sort of talking about specific principles. Um, so I, I try and keep all of my videos like goal related, but the fact of the matter is the incentives on all social media are to not do that. Really what they want you to do is just produce co content, just produce, produce wasted space. And a lot of YouTube channels um, and, you know, other social media sites as well, you know, basically it ends up being people are just focused on, I, I guess, making noise. You know what I mean? Uh, and there's a reason for this. Ultimately, when you look at, you know, the YouTube algorithm or the algorithm all, on all these other sites, um, they're not made to be archives of information, okay? They have never, and you could debate on why this is. You could probably still get people watching your channel if, or your video site if you recommended older videos, okay? Because there's a lot of good stuff that's been put on YouTube. Um, but how YouTube and all these other sites works is they have an extreme recency bias. I don't know if you've noticed this or you know this. I've complained about this in other videos before, but basically what happens is if you put out a video on YouTube, you get a whole bunch of views. It gets recommended all the time, or at least for a couple days or so. And then after that, unless it's gone mega viral, okay, you will never hear from that video again. Like, you know, a couple people will see it over the next couple months. Um, but ultimately, most videos you make are just going to go nowhere, okay? Now, you might be saying, oh, well, maybe they're just not popular videos and you know that that's true like a lot of there is the algorithm does listen to what gets views at the very beginning but the issue is like you know if you start a video if you put up a video that's really good um, and you're a really small channel and just no one happens ac across it it's basically never it's not gonna exist you know what I mean um, now you might say oh well we got to make space for new videos but this is exactly the issue because these when you have this kind of recency bias YouTube ends up incentivizing people who make videos, content creators, they end up incentivizing content creators to just put out junk nonstop. Because, you know, if you're on YouTube, you know, it's thought of as being good practice to put up a video every single day, which is so silly. Uh, even if you do it as a um, full-time thing, that's just a waste of time. Like, you, you cannot, like, unless you have a hired team uh, and you just do general stuff, uh, I don't know if you do like PewDiePie stuff, and you have guys working on it, maybe you could put out a video a day. But um, if you put those incentives for everyone else, it's just gonna be repetition. It's just gonna be more junk. It's gonna be things that like people will watch, but might not necessarily be something that they can get stuff out of. Um, and that, the biggest thing is when you do repetition, I actually did a video a couple months ago saying, okay, well, I might as well bite the bullet and redo some of my own videos. I ba oh, my old videos, I basically didn't even do that. I don't even have the patience for that. Um, I sort of, I mean, if you want to learn LaTeX, I'll just direct you to my old LaTeX tutorials. But I really wish, like, YouTube and all these other sites, especially, I mean, especially YouTube, because, um, you know, there's a lot of sense in which people look for videos because they want to learn how to do stuff. Um, and definitely in technology, that should be the case. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it just doesn't work like that. The incentive for all of the channels is to just keep making junk, okay? Um, now, I will say that there are some channels out there in the, at least the technology sphere who put up videos nearly every day and still manage to have at least some kernel of usefulness, but just the incentives are so messed up that in general, you know, I, I don't know, like I don't want to have a personal blog. I know that some people who watch my channel want that. That's the thing that, I mean, it doesn't annoy me, but it, it's sort of like, okay, 
Um, but uh, just to like build my life around making videos and stuff like that, it's just sort of cringe. Um, so, but whatever, you, I, I guess you have to do it if you want to work on YouTube nowadays. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, the biggest annoyance is that no matter how much time you invest in YouTube or, or these other social media sites, there's never a point where you're like, okay, it's over. I, I can sort of retire or I can sort of, I can focus on something else. Like if you stop doing videos, you're going to stop getting money. You're going to get stop. You're going to stop getting views because there is this massive recency bias. Even if you have one of the best channels on YouTube that has all this great stuff, unless it went mega viral and got like hundreds of millions of views. Okay. Your people are not going to see it after a month or two. That's just how it is. I, I don't know. That's just, it's rough, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, don't call me a content creator. Content creator!